Hi, everyone. Um, it's nice to talk with you. I hope you're having a really good week. And I just wanted to spend some time and talk about um, our material and what we're doing this week. We are in week 10. Can you believe it? Um, we're way over halfway through the semester. There's uh, 16 weeks of instruction and one week of finals. So we've got seven weeks left of the course. And we're really um, getting towards, I think, some interesting areas. So this week, um, we will be looking at a website and it will help us to um, think about our teaching strategies and what we're going to do in the classroom. I'm gonna show you really quickly where it's at. Um, so I'm gonna share a screen. Uh, give me a second and we will do that and you can see where we're at. Awesome. Okay, so you should see my screen now and um, we're on our website. Of course, this is the home page. If you go over to the course calendar, um, this is where you're going to find the link um, to the website that we're going to this week. So if you click on week 10's picture, here we are at the National Writing Project. And um, this is a, a website that I think will be useful for you in the future. I love it. it says improving writing and learning in the nation's schools. And we're on a page um, this week in the website that has 30 ideas for teaching writing. So I want you to go ahead and look through um, this, this portion of the website and pick an article um, here that um, is interesting to you and that you think might be um, useful to you um, in your teaching practices in your classroom. Um, I love um, that it says here, um, since NWP does not promote a single approach to teaching writing, readers will benefit from a variety of eclectic classroom testing techniques. And I think this is um, good because it's really important to teach the class that you can teach. And all of you are looking at different uh, grade levels and, and different even classrooms. Some of you won't be necessarily uh, teaching English, but you will be teaching reading and writing. Um, so that will be interesting. And you're starting to um, spend some time now thinking about even thinking about what happens in the classroom, how curriculum is built. And now I'm really asking you to think about your classroom and finding materials within this website that help you to um, start to define what you might want to do or that might relate specifically to classrooms um, that, that you would be interested in teaching. So here's a whole list of 30 of them. So go ahead and you can pick one that you find interesting. You can then click on um, the link. And then um, if you, you can read about it here and then you can click on the document and this will give you um, the document that you can read through. I'm gonna stop sharing now. So this is uh, this, um, the website we're gonna use this week and next. Um, next week, you will do something different. This week, we're, um, we're looking at um, this part of the website and you're going to pick an article that you find interesting. And then as you analyze it, summarize it um, within your uh, blog or vlog, um, think about how you could utilize the ideas um, in this article in your own classroom. We really have moving away from me just giving you information. We're really moving into the area of you thinking about your classroom, how it will run, how you'll want to incorporate reading and writing within that classroom. Again, I'm not talking about your English classroom. That may be true for some of you, um, but for a lot of you, it will be um, reading and writing within your classroom um, outside of, you know, maybe the discipline of English. Uh, we use reading and writing in, in every, every discipline. Um, so we can look at it from many angles. Hopefully this will begin um, you'll begin to use this material to start thinking about your own classroom. Um, we're going to be getting to um, a place where you will be creating your own curriculum design. And I will do a video about that soon. That's going to be your final project. So it's really important that you can do some self-directed learning right now, picking um, things that seem interesting to you and that relate to the classroom that you would you would like to be in. So that's where we're at this week. And I hope you enjoy the website. We're gonna dig into the website in a different direction next week. I wanna remind you that um, I do uh, want all of you to do a 15 minute um, meeting with me and talk about your um, direction for your curriculum design. So I will be um, 
accepting uh, emails um, to set up an appointment. The appointments go by really fast. I can only do so many a week. So it would be smart to start thinking about um, your design. And of course, I will be doing a video about the design and posting it soon. I hope you're doing well. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and I'll talk with you soon. Have a great day.